Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. This video is specifically designed for those looking to get a job or a better job. Also serves as a motivational video to those who are not so inclined to do so. Of course, this video will be to the point, factual, realistic, so there will be no sugarcoating. Keep that in mind. So, I have a simple question to ask you. Are you happy with your current job? If you don't have a job, of course you are not happy with the job because you're not employed right now. This is something you need to rectify. This is a decision you need to make and you cannot make any excuses about it. And if you are currently employed, you may not be happy with your current job, whether it's really related to income or just the people that you work with, then you're definitely in the right place and you need to get a new job. So everything you do from now on will require effort. Everything you do from now on will require effort. Everything you do from now on will require effort. The reason I said that three times is because it's incredibly important and it starts with your resume. One of the main things that we tell ourselves, oh, I don't feel like updating my resume. It's going to be really hard to update my resume. Who cares? If you really want that job, you're going to make this effort. Are you going to make it in such a way that you're going to tailor that resume to each job that you're applying for specifically? So what do I mean by that? Let's say you find a job and you look at the description and you see that you can do this job. Well, all you got to do is put forward your experience that is specifically related to this job first so that the employer can see that. This will increase your chances drastically and it doesn't take long time at all. This is something that you simply have to do if you truly want that new job. Do you really want to make more money? Do you want to not deal with your horrible boss anymore? You're going to make this small effort and edit your resume. So you've updated your resume, you found a couple of different jobs that you seem to be interested in, you've applied for them, you even went as far as to create a cover letter for each to increase your chance. So what are your chances? That's a very good question, because think about it. You've only applied for two jobs, so the honest answer is very low. Your chances are very low your chances are very low. Again, I emphasize this three times because this is just the reality of the world. Just because you feel, and we do feel a lot, that we are going to get that job, especially when we read that description and it's exactly something that we can do 100%, our chances are actually still low. So how do we change that? Well, we apply to more than two jobs. We apply to 10, 15, 20, even more jobs. So I got to ask you, are you afraid to fail? Are you afraid to fail? This is something so common that everybody can relate to. Nobody wants to put our chances on the line, especially true when it comes to interviewing for new jobs, putting ourselves out there and kind of exposing ourselves to what we are worth. And we are afraid that we will fail because people will judge us and based off that will not give us that opportunity to prove ourselves. This is one of the biggest issues people have in not applying for new jobs. They're stuck at their old jobs, just kind of demolished and depressed feeling from not making enough money to being tortured by bosses, by co-workers. You owe it to yourself to get over the fear and make way more effort for you, for yourself. You owe it to yourself. You have the responsibility towards you and towards people around you to place your best foot forward, as they say, and make the most effort in order to succeed. It's okay to be afraid. We are all afraid. Even person leading the interview may be afraid as well. 
And this is normal. It's normal to be afraid. It's our instinct. So what am I trying to tell you here is that you will fail a lot, but that's okay. You will learn from your failures. You will think about those failed interviews over and over in your head and you will figure out eventually what went wrong. And yes, a lot of those mistakes will be due to the fact that you're too anxious, too nervous, too afraid to remember the correct answers that you may be asked. That's okay. Now you know how to deal with this and over time you will just... I don't want to say the fear will disappear entirely, but it will be so minimized that you won't even notice it, especially if you go through, you know, more than one interview. This will further increase your chances of getting that awesome job. And I highly encourage you to stay at it and never, ever give up. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with friends, like it or leave a comment. I'll be glad to answer any questions. And if you need help with the resume, I have a video on that as well. There will be a link after this video. So look for it there. Thank you so much again. And I wish you best of luck.